Welcome this Welcome in the name of Jesus to my godly seed. This is where we pray for the fruit of the womb. Because according yes. to Matthew 2, 15, the Bible says God desires a godly seed from mm -hmm. our union. And so our marriages it is the platform through which God wants to receive godly seeds into the earth. And so that mm -hmm. is why we don't want to leave it to chance. The Bible says we're not ignorant of the mm -hmm. devices of the devil. We will not mm -hmm. give him place so that he does not take advantage of us. It might be, you, you, maybe you've known of people who have experienced delay in childbearing, delay in child rearing, you know, or maybe you have, maybe you're one or, or, or such. This is the right place to be where we can trust God together and receive the speedy arrival of the children that God has allocated to our families. The reason we're praying is not so that we can convince God to allocate children to us. No, we're praying because God is already convinced and has already allocated mm -hmm. children to us. The Bible mm -hmm. says he has given to us all things mm -hmm. that pertain to life and godliness. And so because of that, because we know what his counsel is, we know what his will is. He said he desires a from our union. And that's why we are gathering here. We are gathering here to see to it that his desire comes to pass in our lives, in our marriages. And we don't allow the enemy to cheat us out on anything that God already did for. One thing you need to understand before I bring up our guest is that Jesus went to the cross so that everything that God desires for you is at your reach. You will not have been able to touch it if Jesus did not die, if Jesus did not shed his blood, ascend, uh, die, get buried, rise from the dead, ascend to glory, and is making intercession for you. All those, all those. Um, uh, activities as you as it were on the path of, on the part of our Lord Jesus is so that you can have access. Okay, so we we want to make sure that we are not leaving to to thin air what we can have by faith. Now that might that might look too simplistic because you have you, you, because you are going through the difficulty of believing God and all that. But I want you to know that you will not have been able to receive anything if Jesus did not die to give you access. And that is why even in this season, as we begin to prepare for Easter, we want to make sure that in our hearts, in our lives, the praise of our God is not wanting. Amen. You remember as Jesus was going to Jerusalem in the midst of all the difficulties, all the all the unpleasant situation in the lives of the people, they were still praising him. And even when the religious leaders wanted to stop them, the Bible says Jesus told them that if you if this won't stop, the rocks will cry, the stones will cry, because I demand praise in the earth. So you don't want your situation to keep you from praising God. You don't want what is seemingly lacking to keep you from praising God. Don't let your prayer, your prayer cloak be exchanged for whinging, for, for complaints, and even for bitterness against God. You know, which day was it? I was speaking to someone. I said to the lady, I said, look, whatever you do, find it in your heart to forgive God, though, because he's the only helper you've got. Hallelujah. If you don't forgive the only person that can help you, how do you expect to get that help? So this morning, I have the privilege to introduce to us a wonderful woman of God that God has seasoned in this, in this, um, in this whole space, and God has given her a word for us and an encouragement for us. So I want to introduce Pastor Shola Adeboejo, um, Pastor of Redeem Christian Center. Uh, did I get that right? Anyway, you introduce yourself. <laughs> um, I, Pastor Shola pastored uh, Redeem Christian Church of God for many years, maybe That's like awesome. 20 years. Yes. yes. And um, mm -hmm. Right now, she's probably carrying out some other assignments, but I know that she pastored in, pastored in, in Netherlands for 
about 20 years, I remember. If my yeah. if my max is doing me well, she'll sort me out when she comes on. Pastor Shola is my good friend. I've known her for like 30 whatever years. And I know the spirit she carries. She carries the grace of the spirit of the living God. And you just need to open your heart and allow her to minister to us and pray with us. This is a journey that is doable. Pastor Shola has proven it. Some people on this platform has proven it. God bless them. They're owing us testimonies. But what are we going to do? We're going to wait. Amen. So, Amen. Pastor Shola, it's time to lead God's people. Amen. I don't know if Amen. you want to use your camera, but if you don't, Amen. we're fine. If you do, we're yes. fine. Either way, we yeah. God bless you and over God to you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you very much, Pastor Agi. God bless you as many as are gathered together. Believe me, we are gathered together at the feet of him who is able to do all things. Thank you very much, Pastor Agi, for this uh, privilege to share. I don't take it for granted. God bless and increase you greatly. As she said, I uh, pastored, I'm a pastor of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, but I believe very strongly that what we carry is a seed for the whole world. And I'm trusting the Lord that as we come together, as we sit together this morning, we are going to be launched forth by the special grace of God into a new level of faith, believing the Lord that what he says he's able to do, and indeed it is done already, hallelujah. Uh, let's just start by opening our hearts and our mouths uh, to thank the King of Kings. I like how Pastor Aggie has been leading us before this time. Uh, let's just continue to thank uh, and to Praise the King of Kings, who is worthy of our praise. He's worthy to be glorified. He's worthy to be magnified. If you start from the very beginning in the book of Genesis, uh, even right from chapter one, you would see the glory of this God uh, who is mm. above all. God, the gods, the one who created everything. I'm going to start from the very beginning. You remember that song that says it's the very good place to start. Mm -hmm. If you look at all the things that he has done, all the wonders he has created, the works of his hands. If you look at the separation of the water, the creation of the light uh, from the very beginning, I'm trusting God uh, that there will be light that will come, that will dawn into our eyes of understanding this morning in the name of Jesus. Uh, mm -hmm. That will that light comes into our heart. Mm -hmm. That light that he said, let there be light. The light comes mm -hmm. in. It will do something marvelous mm -hmm. inside of us. A miraculous turnaround mm -hmm. will begin because we will see that actually mm -hmm. we ourselves are the carriers of light mm -hmm. and darkness mm -hmm. is not permitted anywhere near us. Darkness in the form of barrenness in the form of lack, in the form of mourning over this uh, lack in our lives is not permitted. Hallelujah. Praise God. And so this our God is worthy of worship. The one who created the light, the one who divided the firmament, the one who said, let there be waters, let it divide the waters from the waters. He is worthy of praise. The one who called that firmament heaven, the one who created day and night, the one who said, let the water under the heaven be gathered together into a place and then let dry ground appear. Why am I wanting us to start from the beginning so that you can see that in his progression, he already had you in mind. 
if he could call forth, uh, I want you to cast your mind, look around you. If he could call forth these things uh, and they still exist, uh, if he could call forth water and they still exist, oh glory to God. Uh, if he could call forth the seas uh, and they still exist, uh, if we could call forth the ground and they still bear fruit till today and they are still yielding grass till today, if they are still yielding herbs, uh, if there are trees anywhere around you, beloved, those trees are obeying the command of God uh, because he said, let them be. And they have been from that time till now. And then, beloved, he went all the way to now say, okay, I'm going to create uh, all of these uh, Fishes. He said, I'm now going to create uh, this human, wonderful creature called the human being. He said, I'm going to make him in our image and our likeness. I hope you realize that God didn't say in, in, in singular. Even God the Almighty, he was plural. He said, I will make him in our image, our likeness. Hallelujah. God has no business in you being alone. He has no business. He's not in the business of you not multiplying. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Everything he created, he created with multiplication mentality. Hallelujah. He Hallelujah. created man. And the Bible says male and female, he created them. And then he blessed them in 26 Genesis 1. He said, be fruitful and multiply. Beloved, Anything that is not allowing you to obey that command is what is not your way. And beloved, as we pray and praise this word, it has no choice but to disappear out of the way. Hallelujah, glory to God. It has to give way. It has to disappear because. Because uh, the one that gave that command uh, is the one that is the supreme, is the one that is the supreme commander, is the one that calls the thing that be not as if it were. He calls those things that have not even existed. As far as it's concerned, they are done. So as far as it's concerned, you're carrying a baby is done. It is not going to be done. It is done already. I'll say that again, in case you didn't catch it the first time round. It is not going to be done. It is done already. Your womb was created even with the capacity to carry right from the get-go. Now, I don't know what some of us have as the doctor's report. I don't know what you have as the report from from the enemy's camp uh, concerning your body, concerning your womb and your capacity to carry. But to this morning, we are going to celebrate and praise God. Uh, no matter, dance over that report, uh, dance over that situation because we serve a God who is worthy to be praised. So can you just join me? Let's start by worshiping uh, and praising the Lord uh, and telling him he's worthy worthy. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We come before you by the precious blood of Jesus. Thank you because you are the creator. Lord, we remind ourselves this morning that you are the creator. You can do all things. You have done all things well and you continue to do all all things well. Made bakushendo riko zokondo roko zokoto yendo. Inde rege shikiriada. When you say you do, you do it. Minkere bakushiko roko zokoto ba. Mando roko shikuria ba ba ba. Mando riko zokoto kushikiria. Inde rege shikuria ba ba ba. We are worshiping the Lord this morning. Oh yes, Hallelujah. We worship you this morning. We worship you. Yeah. I want us to unmute ourselves so that we are in that same 
Lord, we worship you this morning. King of kings, we worship you. Lord of lords, we worship you. Mando <laughs> I worship you, Lord, today. I worship you, Lord, today. You are worthy of praise. You are worthy of praise. I give you glory, Lord. I give you glory, Lord. I worship you. I worship you. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give you praise, O oh God. We give you praise, beloved. Hallelujah. I want us to know that more than ever before, God's desire for you and I is that we be fruitful and we multiply. God's desire for you is that you multiply. God's desire for me is that we multiply. We be fruitful. We are the ones that are carrying carrying that word inside our genes, inside our DNA. I don't care what the devil has said. I tell you, every one of us, the capacity to carry, even to obey that word, to carry that seed and then bring that seed forth, it is in you already. Hallelujah. Beloved, I'm going to show you a scripture that we are going to be using even as we started uh, with this uh, 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 with the scriptures of praise uh, with praising our God uh, and is a scripture in Romans chapter 10 verse 9 I'm sure you are saying oh but what does this have to do with carrying a child oh beloved uh, it has a lot to do in fact it's the very foundation uh, he says if you confess with your mouth uh, that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart uh, that God raised him from the you will be saved uh, beloved the principle I want you to see there is that as you believe in your heart. You know what the enemy comes to do is to steal your faith and my faith mm -hmm. by making us look at the things that we are seeing, the things that are not working, what mm -hmm. the doctor has said, the, 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 the blood that comes at the end of the month and then it, it amplifies that feeling of frustration and pain. But beloved, hear the word of the Lord this morning. That is not your portion, you are going to confess uh, and you are going to speak your faith uh, that I am going to carry these children. In fact, these children are mine already. These children are mine already. Hallelujah. And you Amen. are going to name them by faith. Uh, name them by faith uh, and say, I carry a bimbo like carry. I carry Oluwadoni. I carry. Give those children the name and begin to confess it. Begin to mm -hmm. say it with your mouth. Hallelujah. Too many mm -hmm. testimonies we have seen on this platform between Pastor mm -hmm. Aggie and myself that the enemy had waged war and said it would never happen. It mm -hmm. won't happen. It was 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, but beloved, guess what? The children are here. Hallelujah. We are glory to Amen. God. I want us to thank the Lord this morning. I don't know about you. If you have those children's uh, names already, mm -hmm. I want us to call them. Uh, I'm going to call you mama. Whatever name you tell me is the name you already have for that child. Uh, that's the name we're going to call you because that's how you are seen in heaven. Hallelujah. So you are going to call forth. Uh, you are going to confess with your mouth. Uh, it doesn't matter what your body is saying. It doesn't matter even if the enemy is telling 
telling you in your mind, oh, you are so foolish. Where is the child that you are calling? Oh, our father of faith, Abraham. God said you change your name from Abraham to Abraham because you are going to be a father of many nations. In fact, I call you up already to be this. Come out and look at the stars. That's how many you are going to have. Look at the sand on the seashore. That's how many you are going to have. Hallelujah. I want somebody to unmute themselves this morning. There's no time for talking and begin to thank God for the name of that child. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the life giving God, Thank you, Lord. We speak it. We speak it forth. Mentoro koshikaria. Mandoro kosokoto. Indoro kosokoto. Mentere. Oh, hallelujah. Mendoro kosokoda. Beloved, I want you to remember. Remember. Hebrews 11 6. He says that without faith, it is impossible to please God. It is impossible possible. So you've got to do this by faith. Even if the enemy is telling you, no, it's not true. We can't see anything. No, you are saying this by faith. Yes. You are getting the, the kids ready by faith. You are getting the kids room ready by faith. You are buying those baby things by faith because you are getting yourself ready, trusting the Lord. But God is a rewarder. That as you have been seeking him with all your heart as you've been trusting him with all your heart he is a rewarder he is a rewarder nobody and nothing is going to steal your reward those children are yours i'm telling you i'm not even talking to you about a child i'm talking to you about the children because Amen. i believe the God uh, that says multiply. Uh, so I won't even say it is your child is coming. I'm telling you, your children uh, are coming. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You are going to walk in that confidence mm -hmm. that they are coming. A good gift is not uh, the work of any man. It is from the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. So I want you to join me in just thanking God. I'm uh, thanking God by faith uh, and saying, my children are coming. They are coming. They are coming. Uh, my children are coming. Uh, in fact, they are here already. My legacy. I lay hold of that uh, with God has already given to me. Matere bakozoko toko shada mendoro kosoko toko shigulia mendoro kosoko toko soko toko shigulia antoro kosoko to endoro kosiki te adaka shigulia ere bakosiki te kisha endoro kosoko toko shigiri adoko shigulia endoro kosoko toko shiki te shigulia mandoro kosoko Thank you, Lord Jesus. And Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, John. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. Beloved, uh, beloved, we are trusting the Lord, yes, sir, that God is able, that there's nothing impossible with God. Uh, according to Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, uh, and 2 Corinthians uh, 
5 7 reminds us uh, we walk by faith uh, and not by sight. So it's not uh, uh, to say, oh, I, 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 I've seen it, uh, therefore I believe. Uh, no, we in this, in, in this, in this side of heaven, we say we don't need to see it. Uh, we just trust the Lord. Uh, we believe it uh, because by our, in the eyes of our spirit, uh, we have seen it already. Hallelujah. If you've already seen those children, you've seen yourself uh, going to school with them. Uh, you've seen yourself uh, going to buy their things. Uh, if you've seen yourself uh, even w- washing and caring for them and, and getting them ready for school, uh, beloved, uh, then you already you've already crossed uh, one important channel in your eyes in the eyes of your spirit uh, in the in your in your spiritual womb uh, you already see them you already see yourself carrying them you already see yourself uh, you know having them in you and 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 carrying them uh, for that period of time and none of you shall cast your young uh, in the name of Jesus uh. so let's mm-hmm. thank God one more time one more time and then I'm going to lead us to another uh, uh, scripture, and we're going to still believe in God for our seed. And we overcome the world. We overcome the world. Whatever the world may say, whatever the report may say, whatever the doctors may say, whatever Whatever the people are uh, from our village are saying, we have been born of God and we overcome this world uh, by our faith, uh, by our faith. Uh, Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Maduro Kosoko to Kushikira. Menduro Kosikitiada. Menduro. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Beloved, hallelujah. If we look at the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 15. Romans chapter 8, verse 15. I want you to think and to remember that each and every one of us, uh, we have been brought into God's family and mm. made God's children. That's what Romans eight fifteen tells us. He says, because from God, we have received the spirit of adoption as mm. son. By whom have that it means that you and I, we were grafted on. We were not the original children, quote and unquote, mm-hmm. uh, because his original are uh, those Jews, uh, but we have been adopted. Said hallelujah, and Amen. we are able to come with all confidence and boldness to our father and say, Our father, he is our God, hallelujah, glory to God, that we are his children. Beloved, can I tell you that truly in our heart, if we believe the scripture, then God can reach you and me in every different way, he can reach us with our with our biological children in our wombs, but I want our hearts to be open as we pray this morning that just as God, desiring so many children, was willing to adopt us, if you look at the scripture in the days of Jesus, we that were called the Gentiles, we that were out there, God was willing to allow Jesus to die so that we would become his children. He desired his children. He was willing to make that sacrifice uh, so that we would join, we would be part of that huge family. Hallelujah. He was ready to have us adopt 
created mm. belongs. It means that you and I, we can open our hearts and say, you know what? Ah, my heart is open even for adoption. My heart is open even to adopt and to have that baby and nurture that baby as mm. though I produce that child from my very womb. Hallelujah. Mm. Glory to God. Beloved, it takes just as much an act of faith to raise up, to believe God for, and adopt a child, and receive that child in your heart, and raise up that child as it does to believe, to carry one biologically. Mm -hmm. So I want our hearts to be open this morning, mm -hmm. beloved. Mm -hmm. I myself that I'm talking to you, I opened my heart and God gave me precious precious son, even by adoption, and mm. he's no less, no less mm. in glory to God. God, that the child carried in the womb, hallelujah, praise Glory. God. So I want us uh, to pray this morning. Uh, I know it's a process. Uh, I know it's a process for some people, but guess what? Everything is by prayer. As we pray, our hearts are open. As mm. we pray, the God that gave us that same spirit of love, uh, that put it in our heart, uh, that has shared his love abroad in our heart, uh, he will open our heart uh, and open it to this love that we should have to be able to take the step of faith. So let's pray this morning and say, Lord, I don't close my heart even to adoption. I don't close my heart even to, oh God, all the alternatives that are available out there because, Lord, I know that you are the one that created every single child. The devil cannot create any child. Mm -hmm. They are your creation. They are from you, O oh God. Let's pray this morning. Come on, yes. beloved. Yes. Oh, yes. we are all his children adopted into the family of God adopted into the family of God open your heart and trust the Lord I know some people say you know they feel all all one kind. They say, oh, maybe it will not be accepted. Maybe, what? no, beloved, that's why there is the weapon of 
prayer. You pray and you trust the Lord to open your heart, the heart of your spouse. And as you open your heart and welcome this child into your heart, into your lives, I tell you the Lord will transform, transform that anxiety, that, that, that bitterness, that pain of not having a biological child into a love that you will feel that's so overwhelming for this child. You will just be amazed. Trust me, I can tell you uh, both by my experience and from my own journey as well. Uh, after waiting for over 20 years, uh, oh beloved, when this child uh, adopted child came into our hearts, uh, into our lives, uh, he brought such joy Joy. He brought mm -hmm. such peace. You cannot imagine. It's impossible for you to tell. Oh, some people say, oh, maybe you know, yeah, the, the people will know that it's not. No, no, no. It's not anybody's business. It is a business between you and the Lord. Hallelujah. Once you open your heart and you say, this is mm -hmm. what we want to do. This is what I've agreed with my husband to do. Beloved, you see that the love of God will flow through you and God will truly make you one with this child. Hallelujah. Let's open our, our mouth and pray again and say, Father, there is there, there are a myriad ways you can answer this, 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 this prayer in the name of Jesus. Madora baka sekeria baba. Thank you, Father. Ebenezer, we thank you. Mandoro in the Rogo Shikidia, in the Rogo Soko Toko Shikidia, in the Rogo Soko Toko Shikidia, O Rabako Sekidia Rogo Shikidia, Mato Toto in the Rogo Sekitikisha, Roto Toto Toko Shikia, and the Rogo Soko Toko Shikidia, and the Rogo Soko Toko Shikidia. Mango to go shikiri, ando robo soko to go shikiri ada, ando robo soko to go shikiri, oro go shikiri basha. Hallelujah. <laughs> Yes, Lord. Beloved, I can tell you that it's a journey. I can tell you that when we when when we first started and we talked about it, uh, it wasn't automatically that my husband received it, uh, and that's why I want us to pray for ourselves and pray for our spouse. Uh, mm -hmm. It wasn't automatic, but beloved, guess what? Uh, as prayers continued, uh, as we continued to pray, and it didn't mean we we stopped trying to have biological children but you know when we pray God can with every that prayer goes before the Lord and God will use any and every way to make that child come into your home hallelujah praise Amen. God he, he would do everything to make those children 
come into your home and get water at the appointed time. He was the one who went and did everything so that that child could come. And the, 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 the adoption came through and he took her, he took loving hold of mm. that child. Hallelujah. Praise mm. God. So beloved, the Lord can open your heart. The Lord can open the heart of your husband. Can I even show you a mystery that will shock you? Do you realize that now you and I talk about uh, the 12 tribes of Israel uh, and mm. we don't even make a distinction uh, between the children uh, that were born by Leah and the children uh, that were born by Bilhah and the children uh, that were mm. born uh, you know, by Zilpa. Why? Mm. Because all of them uh, are the seed uh, of Jacob. Uh, all of them uh, are the seed of Jacob. Uh, God didn't be, do a distinction and then put them aside and say, oh no, these ones are the children of this and these ones are the children of this. So therefore, these ones are not counted. No, no. All of them became the 12 tribes of Israel. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. The 12 mm -hmm. tribes, the seed. Beloved, I'm saying uh, that if you open your heart, uh, don't even rule out surrogacy. I remember a friend of mine uh, that we had a deep heart to heart. She said, look, Shola, hmm, I'm just so grateful to God. Uh, I'm having twins. I don't care what anybody says. Uh, I'm going to close the street. Uh, I'm going to welcome those children. Uh, like the king and the princess that they are, the queen and the king that they are into my home, and they are conceived through surrogacy. I don't care what anybody says to me. This is the joy that I've been waiting for for 14 mm. years, and I'm welcoming these children. I'm telling you, I'm dancing, I'm jubilating already. She knew the due date. She was already with her husband. They had every prepared. Beloved, the Lord can reach you wherever you are. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Through whichever method. I want, you know, we started by praying, beloved, with all our hearts for biological children. But I'm saying that don't close your heart. Don't close your mind to every which way that God will reach you with those children. Hallelujah. Mandoro Glory to God in the highest. Lintara ba 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 ba. Israel received those children. Jacob received those children. He received Dan. Itare ba kuzeke. Intoro kuzoko toko shikuri ba ba ba. Oro koseke teke seke dia. Intoro koseke dia. He received Naphtali. Intoro ba kuzeke. And those were the children of Bilha. So even the children of Silpa a God into Rogo Sokoto Koshikia into Rodo Kosekia Asha in Terene Nene Kototo Rodo Goshikia. They were received as part of the tribes. They got also their inheritance into Robo Shiko Ribaba. Israel did not make a distinction. The children of Israel made no distinction in Tadeba Kosekete Yaba Kuteria Dada. Beloved. I believe with you this morning that the Lord will send a godly seed to you. The Lord will send a godly seed oh, to you. We our seed. So receive that godly seed this morning. Remember what I started by praying. It is not going to be. It is done already. God Amen. has children already. They are yours already. You just take delivery of them. In Torodo Kozeki, take a yada. Man, Dorogo, Zoko, Toko, Shikuria. Don't let anything uh, stand between you, stand in your in, the, in, the, in your mind, in your heart uh, to say, oh, I cannot receive this because of this. Uh, what will people say? What will this one say? No, that is not something you are going to receive at all. Uh, instead, you are going to to say these are mine. Uh, no 
Shikuriaba. I and the children the Lord has given me. Mm -hmm. The Lord gave them to me. Yes. The Lord gave them yes. to me. And so we are for signs and wonders. Amen. Because the Lord gave them to me. Whether through biological means, whether through adoption, whether through so they see her, whichever way the Lord placed those children in my arms, they are mine. And we are for signs and for wonders. Amen. They are for signs and for wonders. Amen. It, not make a distinction. You should not make a distinction. You just receive them and say, These are mine. And you do not permit anyone to make a distinction in your heart. In in your life uh, concerning those children uh, because they are yours. In Tarababa Shotoyada, Brota Bakuse Kutio Dobaya, in Torobo Sekiria. So, beloved, I see God uh, making a way for you. I see God uh, bringing those children your way. I see God, uh, He opened your womb. I see God. Uh, destroying uh, the counsel of the wicked uh, concerning you. Uh, everything that the enemy has said in Torobo Shikuria Baba Baba. It will not happen. Uh, it will not come to pass. Uh, I'm telling you to be the lie of the enemy. Refuse to be liar. Refuse to believe the liar. The Bible says that uh, the language of the enemy is lies. Uh, that is all that he knows, and that is all that he believes. Maturo Boshiko Riababa. Liar over the one who says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Mm. Jesus is the truth. And so the truth is that you have children. The truth is that you will carry your own children. Mm. The truth is that God will send you, give your own children to you. Hallelujah. Mm. Ever means he will give you your children. So I want to encourage Courage yes. or and there are clinics out there that they will do a perfect job concerning the surrogacy. They will be yours and yours alone. There will be complete separation between the carrier, the biological carrier of the children, and you that you have taken hold. There will be papers that will be signed, and that will be it. And they are available all over the world in Lagos, Nigeria. They are there. And I know because I explored them, they are there. So, beloved, I don't want you to... to to fall into the deception, the lie of the devil, that you can, you will be perpetually in a place of misery and pain and tears. No, the Lord already made a way. That's mm. the good news. Hallelujah. That's mm. the good news. Ah, so break out from every confining, every limiting, limiting thought uh, that the enemy uses to hold you down, break out of it, break out of it, uh, break out of it in the name of Jesus uh, and receive uh, all that God has for you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, remember, I, this scripture keeps coming back to me. I yes. and the children the Lord has yes. given uh, unto yes. me. Hallelujah. It yes. is the Lord that yes. gives. Uh, don't, don't forget uh, every good and every perfect gift. Uh, it comes from him. Uh, the yes. devil can never make a child. Uh, it is God that uh, <laughs> makes them. Uh, it yes. is God uh, that creates them. And this morning he says, I will bring them to you whichever way I will make sure that there's joy, that there's laughter in your home. That the voice of children is heard in your home. 
He will silence the voice of the doctors in Tereba Kushiko, not because doctors are bad, but because God has determined that no report will stand against his report. It is his report that we believe this morning. Even when they have said uh, that a woman had no womb, uh, we have had cases uh, where womb was created by the Almighty and Just she Lord. carried the children. Uh, she carried her children. Uh, oh, there's nothing impossible with our God. Uh, so I decree and declare that your joy will be full. Uh, I Amen. decree and declare. That your children are yours uh, and they are for signs and they are for wonders uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, it is well with you. Uh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I hand God. over now to Pastor Gatha. Pastor oh, Gatha, thank you. Hallelujah. Hey, thank you, Lord Jesus. Let's just begin to praise God. Let's unmute ourselves. And pray in the name of the Lord. Pray in the name of the Lord. Jesus said, if you don't praise him, the stones will cry out. Just because we're in a situation where we still desire some good things happening in our lives does not mean that we are free to, to walk away without praising him. Let's just praise him. Praise him, praise him. Praise Doesn't him matter how difficult praise things him. are looking. Praise is a weapon. Praise is a weapon. But that praise goes to our God. That praise goes to our Father. That praise goes to the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise be unto our God. Praise be unto our Lord. Praise be our Lord. Praise be unto 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 our Lord. You yes, are our source. Yes, we Lord. no other. Yes, you Lord. are our only source. Oh, the Medege Shekeli. He says that he says you will worship the Lord your God. You will serve no other God. Lord, we oh, pledge that even in this journey we will serve no other God. We will not even serve our 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 yes. mood will not serve our, our pity party God, but we will yes. serve you. Yes. We will serve you. Yes. In the Lagos Sotopro no Kushana, as we make our journey of having children, feeling our house with children, Lord, we say it is you who we will serve. The children will not be our God. The, the desire to have them will not be our God. You are still our God, oh God. In the Lord, the Lord, Thank you, Lord, for your daughter that's ministered to us. We give you praise. We give you honor. Thank you for having mercy upon us. Thank you for your grace upon our lives. Upon our upon our upon our yes, assistant Lord. life, thank and you, because you are a good God. You multiply your Lord. grace towards yes, us. In the yes, name Lord. of the Lord in Jesus, the name of open Jesus. her eyes, grant her, her Lord God, and grant her Lord God, utterance, ease of delivery, O oh God, and every opportunity to speak on your behalf, or to minister on your behalf, let it be with ease of delivery, in the name of Jesus. In the name Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Praise God. Wow, what a wonderful, wonderful time of of um explosion in God's presence. Thank you so much, Pastor Shola. We really have been blessed by that. I've been personally blessed. And the truth is, brothers and sisters, faith works the same way for every situation. So I have learned so much from the things that Pastor Shola has shared, and now I can use it in my life, in other areas of my life, okay? Mm -hmm. So just as you're able to use it in the area of filling your house with god rich seed, in the same way you're able to use that same word to get yourself healed, to see yourself elevated, because we're talking about a God that is that is all-round good. 
Every part of every side of God you look at is full of goodness. Hallelujah. And he's yeah. that God that is calling us up to his level to say, look, come, come and dine with me. I've made Amen. your reservation at my table. Come Amen. and dine with me. And we Amen. have come to dine with the Lord this morning. We know that we will not be disappointed in the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for joining this morning. We have a mailing list. I'm sure you've seen all that information on the screen as we were praying. We have a mailing list for this particular group where we speak into um, those that are believing God for the speedy arrival of the children that God has promised. And so we speak into, into your heart in particular so that, and Pastor Shela, you are going to be you, you, we're, we're recruiting you straight away to do some writing for us so that our hearts will be encouraged as Amen. we do the journey. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. We love you, Pastor Shola. Please know you're coming back. Of, of course, you know that you're you're always on our airstrip. Amen. So make, make sure that, you know, every word that the Lord puts in your heart for us, please make sure that you pour it to us because it does help us go a long way. Thank you so much for joining everyone. This is my godly seed prayer session coming to an end. Let's share the grace in fellowship, the grace and of our Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, the love of, love God, of God, and the sweet and fellowship of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is with us right now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we will dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen. Our next meeting is the fourth Saturday of the month of April. Amen. And I'll be excited to see you there. Just note that in April, the Reset My Seeds prayers are all in the mornings now. So, from that starting from 1st of April, all the reset my seed prayers will be on Saturday morning rather than evening and, and morning. So, as uh, so that means that on the fourth Saturday, we will go straight from reset into um, my godly seed. So, mm. beware, amen. God bless you. Have a good one, and we will be we'll be thanking the Lord.